This video is all about the four interview questions you absolutely must prepare for coming into your next interview. My name is Jason Humphrey on behalf of Simple Programmer. Let's jump right into number one. And that one is what is a recent technical challenge you have faced and how did you solve it? This is a actual behavioral question problem. It's disguised much like a technical problem, because that's how it's worded in the beginning, but actually it's behavioral. We want to see your process here. So it's very important you prepare for this question by being able to have a situation uh, that you had, where is a problem, that you solved it with through a process. So whether it was an error you couldn't solve, then show your process of how you debugged it. Did you go to Google and Google didn't find anything? Then you went to Stack Overflows and then you went to some of the blogs you know. You watched YouTube articles, couldn't find anything. You maybe found some tutorials. Okay, what was the next step? I went to my mentor. Mentor didn't have anything. I went to my network. My network didn't have anything. And then finally I got to talk to the creator of the Stack or the open source library, whatever it might be. But do you see how I'm just getting at maybe the process here of how you would have done it or how, what you would have done in the process to get to that answer. That's what they really want to see. So it's a really important question to prepare for because it's all about your process you took. That is the exact same thing you'll be doing for an employer. And that's why it's an extremely valuable question because it gives you the opportunity and ability to show, hey, if I was in your shoes right now working for you, this is the exact same thing I would do. And this is why you want me. That's really what you're selling them right there. And the second question is, why do you believe you're a good fit for this job? This is a great place to give your elevator pitch. Uh, this question is not always asked, but I think it's one of the most important when you get the opportunity, because even if it's not asked on your way out, when someone's walking you out, you've got the ability to answer this question, even if it's unprompted. Why do you believe you're a good fit for this job? And it's about the why. You gotta sell them on the why. If you ever watched Simon Sinek's video, it's much like that, the why, how, and what. The third question, that you absolutely must prepare for is, what's the greatest knowledge you gained from a past experience? This goes to those questions I was talking about. This is an insight question. Give me what's the greatest piece of knowledge you gained from your past experience? Because it allows me to understand what did you actually do in this last job? Because your insight should have some knowledge, some learning, and should be able to validate what you actually said on your resume and what you did here. And this question can come in all different forms, but it's an insight question and it revolves around what you did on your resume, something specifically on there. And this is the one that I see those most popular about what's the greatest thing you learned or greatest thing or greatest achievement from your past experiences, something right around that area. And so it's important for you here to think about this. This is where you have a great opportunity to sell some of the soft skills you might've learned. Or if you just got done with the strength and weaknesses question, relate back to the weakness and talk about the strengths that you were just talking about. Regardless, good area for you to sell what you've learned and why you believe now you're prepared for this job because of what you learned in the past and how that will help you here and now. Fourth question you need to prepare for, absolutely, and this is a technical question. This specific question are the pros and cons of your technology. So what are the pros and cons of Node.js? That's my favorite technology to work with. And so I need to be able to answer this technical question very thoroughly because it's going to show my depth of knowledge in the specific area. And since I'm more likely going to be interviewing for a Node job, pros and cons are often overlooked and people just go, oh yeah, I use Java, I use Node. They don't actually know the pros to use it and they don't actually know the cons. And when they give answers, they might just say, oh yeah, object oriented. Oh yeah, it's great with memory. Do not be vague. P to the point. Find some pros and cons of your technology. Better yet, find pros and cons of anything on your resume to study. And so preparing for these four questions. What's a recent technical challenge you faced and how did you solve it? Why do you believe you're a good fit for this job? What was the greatest knowledge or experience you gained? Or what was the greatest thing you learned from past experience? And what are the pros and cons of something like Node.js? Those four questions you absolutely must prepare for because they are some of the most universally used and they are actually some of the best to be asked because they get to behavioral, they get technical, they get insight. They have a little bit of everything. 
that's it for us today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. At the same time, uh, I will be leaving a one-pager link down below. Uh, out of all the videos I've talked about, if you've seen some of them, you'll know I have this one-pager. Feel free to download it down below. It's to help you out in all of these different scenarios and everything I'm talking through. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I will see you in the next video.